lesser herbarium. was an ant. That didn't do it. Had to start again. Did it. was an ant. Damn. Yes. I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. What potions do you have? I'll have to pick this, or find the key.
Another new face. Welcome to the Merchant District. Are you looking for work or trade? Do you have work? We need all the help we can get. Any help in particular? The outlaws here are staying undercover. But they're still pursuing their dirty business. So I've heard. I'm certain Weasel is still one of the Don's men, but he spends all day sitting on a bench. So? Weasel is no saint. He used to run a protection racket here before the Don left. He's not doing that if he's sitting on a bench. A spider sits in its web, but it's still got murder on its mind. He's planning something, but I need evidence to stop him. You're new here. If you could talk to him, gain his trust. See if you can get evidence of his misdeeds. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. Weasel is trying to trace some Bruegelweed packages. Hmm. If we could get those packages, they'd be exactly the evidence I need. Yeah. I'm looking to buy a new weapon. Do you sell weapons? Love to, but I can't. Alvaro handles all the selling. How are you? How's business? Busy. But since the Inquisitor's laws were passed, I've been up to my neck in work. Alvaro hardly leaves me any time to sit down with a beer. Seriously, I can't remember the last time I slept. Do you sell sword blanks? Normally, but since the business with the ruins, I can't get any more raw materials. Maybe I can help. Maybe. If you can get me iron ore, I can make you sword blanks. Can you teach me anything? Love to, but I don't have any time, thanks to Alvaro. Tell me something about Alvaro. I need to work. Can't work all day. Take a break. And who'll do my job? You? I can give it a try. <laughs> Alvaro would love that. Me getting any old person to do my job. Or he'd be glad for his smith to get some rest. What makes Alvaro glad is chests bulging with gold. Alvaro's really working you to the bone. Sign of the times. Everyone in this town wants a weapon. Or wants a weapon sharpening. Still, it will be over at some point. Can I help you in some other way? Maybe. I am having supply problems. I'm always short of something. Mostly I need old metal that I can melt down to make blanks. Some old scrap metal would make my work a lot easier. Where can I get some scrap metal? The farmers left a lot of old scrap metal lying around in their yards. Old tools, nails, that sort of thing. But then gnomes rummage around out there. They steal everything that isn't nailed down. I bet they've also stolen all that old scrap metal from the farmers. Could be. I'll get some old metal for you. But you can't get out of the town. I'll manage. That would be great. I'll pay you for it, of course. I'll take whatever you can bring. The gnomes had this tool bag. Hey, that's just what I'm looking for. I need, say... Fifteen of those? Fifteen? Do you know how many gnomes I'd have to knock down to get that? Knocking over gnomes isn't my problem. I just need the metal. I'll see what I can do, but it may take a while. As long as I get the metal, time isn't the problem. Would ten tool bags be enough for you? I'm going to need fifteen. Fifteen it is, then. If it was easy, I'd have got them myself. Difficult I can do for lunchtime. The impossible will take a bit longer. I'll take a wild guess. You want a weapon? I have a couple for sale, if you tell me what you're after. Your smith's a hard worker. Lots of work means lots of profit. We're about the only ones doing well here. So we have to take the work while we can. Your smith looks like he's about to collapse. Walter? He's as strong as an ogre. 
Even ogres fall over at some point. I'm not a tyrant, you know, but the work has to be done. Who can help you with those jobs? There are a couple of servants here in the merchant's quarter. If you can find them and pay them to work for me, that'll take the strain off Walter. Here's a bag of gold for the servants. It doesn't get delivered, I'll know. Harbour Town is a small place, and the gates are sealed. Does this mean Walter will get a break? As soon as he's finished Marcello's blade, he can stop. Show me what you have. Have you any weapons that are any good? Any good? Any good? I have the best weapons you'll find on this whole island. You won't find any better. Hey, you. You looking for a job? Might be. What do you want doing? Alvaro needs some wood chopping. Yeah, all right. I'll get started. It worked. Hey, are you looking for some work? What? Alvaro has some work needs doing. The old man sent you. What does he want? He needs some blades sharpening. That suits me. Good news. Oh, what's that? Alvaro says you can take a couple of days off. That doesn't sound like him. You just need to finish the blade stuff for Marcelo. I've already finished the stuff. It's been in the cellar for a while. Alvaro's really got the hots for getting this delivery. Well, thanks for your help. If you need anything... Maybe another time. Thanks for the break. Give me the power of good. One hand washes the other. I need your help. What's up? Do you also work on artifacts? Whoa. If you found something, you have to hand it in. I do. Do you know what the Order will do to you if you keep artifacts? You'll get recruited and bang. Straight to the monastery. I can take care of myself. It won't just be you. I work on an artifact, I'll be in the same boat. And I'm not having that. I'm just a smith. Remember? About the blade star for Marcelo. The one I forged? Yes. Why is it so important? Alvaro wants to use this gift to make an important friend in the Order.
He'll be keeping that blade staff safe then. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But? Alvaro wears the key for the chest on his belt. But the cellar lock, it's old and rusty. A child could pick it with a piece of wire. That's Alvaro. Won't even pay for a new lock. Why is it you want to know? None of my business, but maybe I can help. What else can you tell me? I can tell you Alvaro tends to creep around the house at night. Sleepless man. Probably up, counting his earnings. How would someone get into the cellar? In theory, as quietly as possible. And if Alvaro is awake, Wait until he's not around. Can you teach me anything? If you're ready, I'll teach you the art of smithing. What can you teach me? The servants you wanted are now at work. Excellent. You've earned my trust. Keep the rest of the gold. Very generous. It was a fair wage. If you want to beg for more money, sniff round Master Belshur in the gutters. Hey, how are you? Hush. Don't make such a noise, or we'll both get arrested. What's going on here? Hush. Not so loud. The white robe back there is starting to notice. Hernandez realizes I'm watching the Don's old house. We're screwed. You're working for the Don. <laughs> You've just realized. Yeah, I have orders from the Don. And when he gives orders, you obey. Thing is, I could use some help. Sounds like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Yeah, and that bastard Hernandez has settled over there by the entrance and made himself comfortable. Looks like he's happy to spend the rest of his life guarding it, damn it. And I sit out here like an idiot. Rain or shine. What is it you need to do? There's an old family heirloom of the Dons in the house. A golden amulet. If the white robes get their hands on it, they'll take it to their stupid monastery. And the Don will kill me. And I mean kill me, wake me up, and kill me again. You want to steal from the White Robes? Steal? They came storming into Harbour Town, taking anything they want. The house and everything in it belong to Don Esteban. I'm just going to return what already belongs to him. Where is this amulet? The Don mentioned a secret room, accessed by a hidden switch behind a picture. But how is anyone supposed to find the room in that huge house while the white robes are buzzing around? Tell me about the Don's old house. It's that big building over there, but the white robes are in there, and they never leave. If you want to break in, you'll have to do it at night. 
Some of them will be asleep then. Right. I'll get you the amulet. Okay, but be smart. Esteban will kill us both if Hernandez gets his hands on it. How are we gonna get by the white robes? I'll think of something. All right. I'll wait here. I don't think we have anything to talk about, do we? And what are you doing creeping about round here? Let me guess. You're lost, right? Just taking in the sights. Yeah, right. Just don't be thinking you can take me in. I'm not the gullible sort. I don't know you. Make sure I don't need to get to know you. Have you had problems with the Don's men? Of course. They're just waiting for the chance to snatch the town back from the Order. Take a look at that guy skulking across the street. Goes by the name of Tony. Isn't the sharpest tool in the box. He's been hanging around for days. Thinks I haven't noticed. He's scoping the place out, waiting for a chance to break in. Someone needs to curb his curiosity. But I can't leave my post. I'll sort Tony out. That would be appreciated. He isn't a pretty sight to look at all day. Although I would be interested to know what he's after. Tony wants to steal something from the house. Oh yes, what would that be? He has orders to retrieve an amulet, one of the Don's heirlooms from the house. Hmm, what's so special about this amulet? It's made of gold. The islands are washed with gold these days. Must be more to it than just the gold. But we turned the house upside down and no one found a gold amulet. I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. I think I can find the Don's amulet. Oh, really? Yes. And if Tony fails to get hold of it, he'll have to disappear from town. And you think the amulet has to be in this house? But we've searched it. But what if you missed it? You think your eyes are better than ours, huh? Well, go on then. Step inside. Let's put them to the test. About this treasure seeker, what is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. And he's going to stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Isn't there a way you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Ulf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. Did it.
This lock is too difficult. What reason do you have for staring at me? Well, you're not a member of the Inquisition, and you don't look like a fighter. I'm not. I'm a treasure seeker. Ruins searched, tombs emptied, valuables recovered, pockets lined. When I'm not being held prisoner, that is. What did you do to get locked up? The Inquisition wanted me and my brothers to work for them. We're independent operators. Picking sides is bad for business. Then they got wind we'd dug up these three golden bowls. And they want them. They're obsessed with artifacts. They can lock me up for as long as they like, but I'm not telling them a thing about those bowls unless they pay me a decent price. How much do you want for these golden bowls? Want to join the queue, do you? Well, at least you're talking price. That's more than they are. Give me 200 gold and I'll tell you where I hid mine. Deal. You're a treasure seeker. Any good? My brothers and I are the best. You're one of the triplets. You always work together. Three heads are better than one. And three sets of arms when it comes to shoveling. We know our craft. Not like the amateurs that fill the ruins with now. We came a long way to end up on this island. And now we're stuck here. Who do you triplets work for? We're free agents. We work for whoever pays the most. Pay us, we'll deliver. Treasure seeking is just digging, isn't it? You think? There's skill to it. That's why we're paid, skill and danger. We've sailed the most dangerous seas and gone where fighters fear to tread. What kind of job are you looking for? We're not fussy. At least not while we're stuck here, we're not. If you have a job for us, then don't stay silent. Although, you'll have to help us get out of town first. I definitely can't help you if I'm locked up. You need me? You'll have to convince Hernandez to let me go. I'll get you out of town. You sound like you take pride in your work. I like that. Well, if you're up for it, you'll have to deal with the guard at the entrance. I doubt I'll get out of here unless you can persuade Hernandez to free me. Can you teach me anything? I can show you how to prospect for ore with a pickaxe. I thought you were a treasure seeker. Hacking into a hidden wall or prospecting for ore? It's all the same. Only ore is much less interesting than treasure. Show me how to prospect. Show me how to prospect. First, you have to be able to tell where ore can be found. You can't just go swinging at any old rock. How do I recognize ore deposits? The stone glitters, and the structure of the rock is different. Often you can see ore bubbles. They hang on the rock like pimples. When you find a good rock, take the pick in both hands and swing straight. That's very important. The point has to hit the deposit square on, or the rock will splinter, then it's worthless. Don't expect to be as good as I am from the off. It takes practice. But put in the time and you can make decent coin from prospecting. Shouldn't your brothers know what we're planning? Yes. Tell them to come to our meeting point. They'll know where I mean. Okay, I'll tell them to go there. Great. I bet they're drinking themselves into a stupor in the Gutter's Tavern or on the Harbor Quay. How do I convince Hernandez to let you go? Well, you know why they're holding me. They want the three bowls. So? Get those three bowls out of circulation, I'm suddenly less interesting. Find them. Make them disappear. How can I take these bowls out of circulation? Well, if you can get your hands on them, you can sell them to someone who can get them out of town. What if the Inquisition get to them first? Then it's up to you to handle it. The bowls just need to vanish from town. I could use your help. 
There's a large temple on the east of the island. It's still sealed. The Inquisition can't have found it yet. That sounds promising. Temples almost always equal treasure, especially on this island. What does the entrance look like? The entrance is blocked. It looks like it's collapsed. Ah, that's no problem. Show us where the temple is, and we'll open it up. But we're going to have to get free of this place to do it. Look, just tell me where this golden bowl is hidden, or you'll rot here. That knowledge is valuable. No payment, no information. I thought you wanted out of here. I'm not going to sell myself short to get out. No point in being free without a future, is there? Did you hide your artifact in the lighthouse? What? You found it? Guess I'm a much better treasure seeker than a treasure hider, eh? Well, you find it, it's yours. Fair's fair. Are you the oldest of the triplets? Me? Amazing how a few minutes, a slice of fate can put a man in charge, isn't it? I wonder what the other two would have done if I hadn't been the first of the three of us to be born. Who's to say? That wasn't it. That didn't do it. Oh no. Job well done. There's something here about magic. That didn't do it. It worked. Show me what you have.
Hey. If you're looking to buy something, you'll have to talk to Comrade. I'll just work here. You don't sound too happy about that. My family's been selling our harvest to Comrade for years. When we lost everything in the troubles, he said he'd take us in. In? He makes us sleep outside. What happened to you? You must know what terrible things have befallen this island. All those ruins bursting from the ground. Some of them rose in the middle of our farm and the Inquisition said we had to leave. But my sons, my sons are still out there somewhere. They all went their own way before these creatures came. I hardly get a wink of sleep worrying about them. Do you know where they are? Do you know where my sons are? I have no idea. If you hear anything or meet someone who's been outside, please don't forget to ask about them. Please. Can't your husband help? Ingvar? Huh? We're in dire straits and he's drinking the last of our gold in the tavern. Tell me about Conrad. His house is full of supplies, but he won't share them with you if that's what you're after. He didn't lift a finger to help us when they took our cows to be slaughtered, and we've known him for years. Who took your cows? The Inquisition. Said they needed to feed people. But now how do we feed ourselves? Of course, Comrade talked to Carlos and got his cows spared. What are your sons called? Beppo's the oldest. He didn't want to come to town with us. Always ran with the wrong crowd. I worry he's fallen in with the Don's gang. William volunteered for military service with the Inquisition. And Leon, my youngest, just took off in the night. How much is the information worth to you? I... I don't have any gold. But... If you do manage to leave the town... Yes? I have a little put aside for a rainy day. There's a couple of skins and the silver candle holders from my great-grandmother. I buried them behind the barn of our farm. Which is your farm? The farm on the path to the monastery. An Inquisition fighter named Severin is in charge there now. I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't get your hopes up. I've seen your youngest son, Leon. Really? He's alive then? Yes. He's living in a hut north of the town. That fills me with joy. Thank you for sharing this news. I hope he watches out for wild animals. The forest is very dangerous and he was always the weakest. I met your oldest son, Beppo. Is he alright? I worry so about him. Yes, he's alive. He has a job in the ruins. But isn't that terribly dangerous? Don't worry, he's not alone. He has some strong fighters by his side. Nothing new for you. Given healing potions to everyone on your list. Very good. If you have won his approval, now you must seek Commandant Carlos's favor. Good luck, my friend. Tell someone who cares. Ah, oh, crap. What do you want? I thought I'd lost you. Then you need to work on making your secret meetings a little more secret. Oh, crap. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. I seen you about. Nosing in everyone's business. People don't like people's noses being stuck into other people's business. People like that get hit. By people. Hand over the packages you took. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Then you leave me no choice. Garth, get him! Shut his flapping mouth. 
Time for a little Get lesson. Get in there! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! It's it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Get in there! Get in there! Ah! Ah! Hit him! Right. Now let's hear the truth. It's Cutter's fault. He made me do it. He did, he did. He wanted me to set aside some weed for him. Just a bit. What did he give you for it? Meat. And some gold. But it wasn't much. And I haven't any left. Please don't tell Carlos. I couldn't hack it in the monastery. I'm not cut out for it. I have allergies. Just get out of here. Thanks. Haven't I seen you hanging around the brothel? What, me? No, no, not me. You wouldn't catch me there. I mean, real men don't pay for it, do they? They, well, you know, it, it wasn't me you saw. Yeah, you're right. And you are a real man. What? I don't trust you. Not one bit. <sighs> what? What's going on? Now start talking. Look, I didn't mean to step on the Don's toes. You stole his weed. That's pretty much stomping on them. I... I wasn't going to sell it in Harbour Town. Then where? Just, uh, just in the monastery. They all love a bit of Bruegel up there. You should remember it's the Don's Bruegel. They're rich up there. Loads of gold. It's all that poking around in the ruins. Who else is involved in this Bruegel smuggling? Just me. And I'm supposed to believe that? Believe what you like. What? Okay, I'll take it. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Careful who you show it to. The Inquisition and the Dawn's boys would love to get this, but I didn't trust them not to bash me over the head as soon as they got their paws on it. Ulf sent me. You're supposed to rendezvous at the meeting point. Great. So, he's okay. Thanks for the message. I'll see you around. Is someone there? I 
I got fed up with waiting for him. Your wife is worried about your sons. Oh, Tilda. She worries about everything. No wonder my lads have gone. They needed the peace. What do you want? You've got what you wanted, now leave me alone. What? Well, I wouldn't go up against him. What do you think the Don will do? Everybody talks, but no one seems to know. What fish do you have for trade? About your father. I found this key on Ericsson. Show me. I don't recognize this, but it has my father's initials on it. He marks his territory. I think he'd have carved his initials into me given the chance. This key's a start, but it's useless without a lock. I don't suppose Ericsson gave up what this key was for, did he? No, I didn't think so. Thanks for this. Let me know if you hear where this key might open. I found this paper in one of the shacks in the gutters. Now this is a useful piece of paper. This is precisely what I was looking for. I can finally leave this rat hole. You deserve a reward. Here, I can spare 200 gold coins. But take them, and you ask no more questions. Deal? Keep the gold. Just answer my questions. People usually see gold and forget everything else. All right. What do you want to know? Tell me about Captain Romanov. Think he'll be a problem? Couldn't care less about him. I've got what I wanted now. At least part of it. What's so important about that old scrap of paper? There's no secret that it's linked to my father. You must have worked that much out yourself. But my father is my business. Do you think your father is still on this island? He was. Whether he still is and whether he's still breathing. Those are different questions. But I'll find him. What's going to happen to the tavern while you're away? The tavern's only ever been a place for me to hole up in. When it's time for me to move on, I'll find someone who wants it. What will happen with your father's shack? I have no use for it. You can have it if you want. You already have the key, after all. Thanks. That place might come in handy. It obviously did for my father. If you're going to keep it, take my advice and burn the bed linen. I'll take the shack. Always wanted something with a sea view. That's probably enough with the questions, isn't it? For now. Maybe. Maybe we can talk again later. Hmm. You're a rare one. And I've traveled the length and breadth and met a lot of people. Right. All I need to do now is find a way out of this wretched town. Here are your armor plates. Excellent. Hope the lads didn't kick up too much of a fuss. Here's your gold and 150 extra as agreed. Try someplace else.
too risky. I want to be a better thief. That didn't do it. Had to start again. Did it. Out, now. Don't let me set eyes on you again. 